Hello, I'm uh, dressed in St. George in this video um, because I've decided that for a few videos I'm going to wear fancy dress. Oh no, I just. Uh, adjusting. Um, yeah, I just. Anyway, uh, exciting news. I'm going to put my head in the way of the light. Don't shine. Um, exciting news about Malo Venture. There's spikes now, which were a good idea suggested to me. Had the idea before. Didn't think I was gonna. No. Did have the idea before. Did think I was gonna do it. The idea that I did think of but wasn't going to do was the full damage. I thought of that. Didn't want to do it. Thought it'd slow down gameplay. Instead, I thought of spikes. And so we were in tune here. We are thinking of the same ideas. Anyway, uh, keep suggesting because you might come up with something that I haven't. But anyway, yeah, spikes were something that was suggested to me and I thought, well, I'll put them in in the next update. I was going to wait a couple of updates uh, to put them in, but I put them in in an earlier update because it was suggested to me that spikes go in. And I thought, hmm, I was thinking of spikes. Let's put them in early. Um, a few bug fixes. Tons of bug fixes, actually, but for bugs that you either didn't notice or that were introduced as I was programming stuff. So, yeah. There's some pretty cool things being added, or have been added. And, um, I, uh, what am I talking about? I don't even know anymore. Oh, um, Level Editor will be released, which is pretty cool. There's a new map size, you may have heard about that. So levels can be made huge now rather than just that little box that you saw in the demo level. Um, oh, also the, the time of its release will be 11 p.m., 2300 hours, GMT, London time. So uh, you can update then. So, yeah, I've got that out of the way. Um, also, there will be an auto updater introduced in this, not an auto updater, but an update checker that will automatically check for updates every time you open the game. That will be pretty cool, I think. I'm looking forward to that feature because that means, you know, rather than having to check for videos to know when there's going to be an update, you can just, you know, open the program and it will say there's an update ready. Do you want to download it? And you can say, oh, yes, I would like to download it, actually. But that would be, um,. Absolutely desirable. Um, don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Also, um, donations. That's a pretty exciting thing that I wanted to talk to you about. Um, I am having trouble with money. I don't have very much. And uh, by very much, I mean I don't have any at all to fund this project. Um, attempting to make the game compatible with Mac was an expensive decision on my part and um, yeah considering there's a lot of troubles with the Mac development at the moment it's starting to seem not very worth it but it will be worth it once I fix all of the problems with my um, code because obviously in the newer versions i.e. the Mac version and the new Windows version which are outdated compared to the old version which is still in development. Doesn't make sense. The new version is outdated because the old version has overtaken it. Um, <laughs> by that I just mean it uses some... the new version that I'm still developing uses some old code which needs to be uh, omitted and replaced in the new engine. So we're switching over to the new engine pretty soon. The new engine will make things much smoother. The, the FPS will be um, better. I'm hoping there'll be less screen tearing because that might be a problem. Not that much of a problem in Mal Adventures, but in earlier games that I've done using the same sort of methods and stuff, they've had some bad screen tearing. Like Blank Dream Destroyer, that had some pretty terrible tearing, um, but that was because it was quite fast paced. Um, so, yeah, lots of stuff will be fixed with a new engine, but. In any case, it's an expensive process so far, and um, 
may set up a PayPal donation system so that you can help to fund the game. Why would you want to do this, I hear you ask? Well, maybe you appreciate the game, like maybe you've played it, you appreciate it, you want to help develop it, um, which would be lovely. There's going to be a donation button in the game. Um, and for those of you that don't own the game and you weren't able to get it for free because you weren't one of the uh, lucky five people that commented Marshmallow first, then you can choose your price to buy the game, basically. You can you can pay anything and get the game, which would be quite good. It uses the same sort of idea as the Humble Bundle, for any of you that know that, where you can choose your price and the uh, proceeds go to charity. Uh, obviously it won't be going to charity, it will be going to the development of the game and um, general living purposes. <laughs> um, I do want to do something for charity, actually, though. Um, I did try to work out some business for some charity stuff where we, where I, in particular, would license uh, one of my ideas to a game that would make money for charity, but um, lots of copyright issues where they were, their engine had to be open source no matter what, and um, the the game that we were talking about could not be open source, so I had to try and get loads of copyright stuff. And then they decided that they were too busy to work on it anyway, so... It makes no sense to you, but... Yeah. When I work on something for charity, it's probably going to be to do with Mallow Ventures, where we do... Uh, probably like a 24-hour marathon or something on Mallow Venture. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, I like that idea. We're going to have to work on that. Hmm. Anyway, I'll see you soon, guys. And new update, 11 o'clock tonight, GMT. So convert that to your own time zone if you're not GMT-based. Um, and I'll see you soon, and I might have a different costume in the next video. See you soon, guys.